Hello, and welcome to Tuesday DJ Gig Tips, brought to you by Vibo, the music request app. I got a question the other day in regards to clean edited music for schools and kids' parties. Stuff that's not going to upset the parents or the faculty and the kids will like. Now, before I get into this, I just want to clarify a couple of things. I don't specialize in children's parties or school dances. There are those of you out there who do, and you do a fantastic job with them. And I take my hat off to you. I got a lot of respect for you because they are a lot of work. There's a lot involved here. You got to make an investment. You got to know what you're doing. So having said that, when anyone calls me and asks me to do a party like this, I make it clear that what I do is I play the edited, clean versions of popular songs. If it's okay with the FCC and approved for airplay, as far as I'm concerned, it's fair game to play. And most of my clients are fine with that. In fact, all of them are fine with that. If they're not, then what I would ask from them would be a list of approved songs to play. What's okay to play? Please let me know and tell me songs that you absolutely don't want to hear. Because when it comes to subject matter of songs, you know, that's really kind of a tricky one. Because at that point, you're kind of being the moral cop. You're deciding what is and isn't appropriate to play for kids. And as far as I'm concerned, if the FCC is okay with it, then why wouldn't anybody else be okay with it, you know? I came to this conclusion a long time ago. I remember when Crank That Soldier Boy came out and I was doing an elementary school and one of the mothers asked me to play it and I'm thinking in my head, this is highly inappropriate. And she got mad at me and she told me that was her son's favorite song because he loves Superman and he says Superman on the song and he knows the dance. And that is a filthy, nasty song if you know anything about it. The principal came up and yelled at me. I played the thing and all the kids were dancing to it. That was the day I decided it was not worth it for me to be the moral cop anymore. What's the point? So that's why I just try to go with the clean edited versions of songs unless I'm told not to do it. Now, having said that, at the 14-year-old Catholic school party I did last weekend, I didn't play WAP because I'm not an idiot. So you've got to kind of use common sense on this stuff. So, there are a couple different ways you can collect these clean, edited versions of songs. One way you can do it is know exactly what you're going to need for the event and go on a download service like, I don't know, Amazon perhaps, and handpick the clean versions of the songs that you feel like you need. You can absolutely do it this way. It's been my experience that I don't really know what I'm going to play until I'm at the event. There may be songs I'm not familiar with that I downloaded the night before that are clean, that I got from my music services like Promo Only or Top Itch USA, who do squeaky clean versions of songs. More than what the FCC requires for radio. And, and you're safe. As long as it says it's the clean version, you're not going to get in trouble. That's what I do. I use those music services. It's not very often that I have to download music for a school party or a children's party. I usually have it because all the current stuff is handled by these music services that do a fantastic job. And I've been a subscriber for many, many years. Let's say that you've never subscribed to services like this and you get a subscription today. Well, that's great, but you don't have any of the back catalog stuff that the kids might want. You're going to be in good shape in a couple of years, but right now you're still going to need to handpick some tracks. So, I guess one thing I will say is that this is definitely an investment in time and research, and it's kind of a trick bag with the music you play. So, don't sell yourself short on this. If you get a client who wants to pay you $300, $400 for a school dance, think about what you've got to go through and the investment that you have to make to even provide the music that is suitable for this audience. And typically at a school dance, typically, you're playing a lot more currents than you would be at a wedding reception. So you're going to need, I don't know, two, three hours worth of clean currents that the kids want to dance to. It's a lot of work. So take that into consideration. 
Another thing you can do is use a streaming service like Spotify, and there are several available for programs like VDJ and Rekordbox that you can actually log on and stream your tracks, anything, and they have clean versions of songs. Now, this is a great option, and I'll show you how it works in a second. But before we talk about these streaming options, there are a couple things to consider. A, you have to have solid, reliable internet, because if you don't, you can't play any music. And the other thing to consider is if you're trying to use like a Wi-Fi hotspot to get this internet service, consider how many people are right there in the venue with you. We're talking about a school dance. Could be a couple hundred, could be several hundred kids, all with phones. So you're competing for bandwidth. There are places in my country and abroad where Streaming is just a real simple, easy, straightforward thing because no matter where you are, you get good streaming. Uh, where I live in the United States, I do play some rural communities. There's not always real strong Wi-Fi. Sometimes in the gymnasium, you don't have great strong access to their internal Wi-Fi system or their internet service. So if you're going to stream, make sure without any doubt that you're going to have good strong internet because if you don't you might be sunk but yeah let's check those services out I've got one on VDJ I can show you so just for fun let's type in Bruno Mars let's see what pops up now you might notice there are clean and explicit versions here obviously you're going to want to pick the clean one and there are fields that show you whether or not it's clean or not so pick that one. It's just an example for you. As far as Spotify goes, I'm not sure how you'd use that. I know DJs who do use it, but I'm not sure what interface they're using as far as a program or whatever, or if they're just playing it right off of Spotify and they're using like Spotify kind of as a deck on their mixer where they you know go to that channel and play the song right off of the Spotify app. I'm not sure. I don't use streaming services at events, but that's how it would work. Yeah, there's just some ideas for you. So those are your choices, right? You could either handpick this stuff and download it off of sites like Amazon or whatever iTunes is doing now, iMusic or whatever it's called. You can have a DJ subscription service, like promo only, Top Hits USA, and get the clean edited versions of songs from there. Or you can stream it and Again, if you're going to do this, I can't stress this enough. Make sure that you've got strong internet where you're playing at. And you're not competing for bandwidth from several hundred kids. So, I don't know. That's what I have for you. That's really all I have for you. And like I said, beginning of the video, school dances are not my specialty. But, I don't know. There, there are just some ideas for you. I, I, I don't know how else you could do it. I'm sure there are other options. The experts might let you know down here in the comments section. It's tough. And I don't do a lot of these. Although I do have those two homecomings coming up. But I selected the schools carefully. I didn't just pick any school. I picked the schools that I was comfortable with working with. I've worked with the faculty and the, well, one I've worked with the faculty and the uh, students before, the group of students. The other one I've worked with the advisor, but I haven't worked with the students yet, but it, I think it's pretty linear because it's the same neck of the woods, and I think I'll be okay. But there are other schools that I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. It'd just just be way, way too much to, to worry about, I think. But anyway, quick video for you. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps somebody. It gave you some ideas. Take care of yourselves. I appreciate you so much. Practice and enjoy.